As you can watch the replay here, I mean, he just, it's just because of the way this route's set up. He gets chipped off and he's wide open, five yards down the field, as this is just like an instant open route. The champ is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the Mad Sheets, as always. Got a brand new offense for you guys out of a brand new playbook. I don't know why I'm ever overacting like this. So I'm slowly transitioning over to the Buffalo Bills offense. The offense I'm going to show you guys today is an offense that I actually showed you guys in the past. This trips halfback week. I don't think that this particular uh, formation was called that last year, but I put out some plays from this last year uh, in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Other than that, the plays I'm going to show you guys are the close X fade. If you caught a video that I put out recently where I it was called five glitch routes this particular route was in that this is a great man beater i know a lot of people are running man coverage right now for whatever reason i don't know um but yeah man coverage is, is pretty large and mutt and this particular route destroys that a lot of routes on this particular play destroy that then you have the the close bills cross now this particular play too is also a great man beating play but it also has a lot of success against a lot of different defenses so this particular play is probably going to have the most home run effects on zone coverages as well the uh the choice zig is a very explosive play you can pretty much tell by you know which one of these routes is going to be the home run route and then and also the PA wide receiver ends a very explosive play. So we're going to go, we're going to pick the close X fade on the offensive side. Like I said, this is a man beating play for the most part. And I see a lot of people running man coverage, especially when it comes to plays like cover one hole. So let's go ahead and start off with that. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up and support channel at the same time, you can check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code money, uh, which will get you 3% off. But ultimately, there's a different discount code going on right now where you can use discount code email and get 6% off. So obviously, you probably want to do that. That will save you more money than mine but ultimately checking them out through my link in the description will help me out and it really supports this channel so thank you guys for that this route right here that Diggs is running doesn't need any adjustments and it's a really good man beating play um, it just runs right past the cornerback to be honest with you which makes absolutely no sense you just kind of have to wait for him to get uh, even with the cornerback in there I might have threw it a little bit early I might have not threw the best pass but you can see he just runs right around the cornerback and it's pretty much gone. Like I said, I, I, I pretty much just wait until he gets... I don't know what it is. It's something about this route. The cornerback doesn't get hands on him. Stefan Diggs is not that fast. But once he gets a little bit of a lead, you pretty much just have to lob it up you know, you can bullet pass if you want to, but lob it to the outside, away from the cornerback, away from the safety, and they can typically just click on and sprint and outrun the cornerback. I'm going to do that a couple times. Like I said, there's nothing really to this because, like I said, he's just kind of waiting until he gets uh, a little bit of separation. You can see, I mean, I'm pretty much getting going here. And I don't have a very fast receiver on this team. I know a lot of people in previous videos would say I was using Hollywood Brown. Of course, he's going to beat that. I wanted to purposely use a team that didn't really have super fast receivers. Even though Stefan Diggs is a very good receiver, you can see he's getting going instantly every single time. At the very least, he's getting a big play. I probably want to block my running back. That's probably the only thing. But you can see, like I said, there's just nothing. He's just, just out sprinting this guy. And it's because of the way the route's designed. This is a one-play touchdown against pretty much any man coverage as long as there's not a safety over the top. Now, this play has a couple of really good man checkdowns already built into it. The A route and the RB route are very good man routes. I find that the A route's probably best uh, because the slant's where, where the user's going to be. Typically, this, this route to the outside, there won't be any user out there. So, this is pretty much the play. Like I said, you can always hit this home run. If you, if you diagnose properly, you're pretty much going to have this home run in the bag pretty much every single time. But ultimately, there's a lot of good man beating routes on this play. I'll also show us against man zero. We'll go with man, uh, we'll go with Overstone Brave. Pretty much going to be the exact same result. As you can see now, Stefan Diggs is kind of lit up and he just runs right past the guy. And we'll call that a touchdown. But like I said, any man coverage, there's no safety over the top. And that includes man coverages like cover two, where a lot of times they'll, they'll you know, some people like to put their cover two safeties into um, like, uh, you know, curl flats and stuff like that. If they do that, this will be a very easy play. This is where I first found this route was last year when a lot of people did that. They put their outside safeties uh, in the in those type of, of uh, positions. And it really, you know, this is a really explosive play against people like to run defense like that as well. I know I said this route has mostly success against man coverage, but also has a lot of success against cover four quarters. 
quarters. So let's go and let's pick that one more time. On defensive side, we're going to pick cover four match. Has the exact same effect. You can see how this cornerback just doesn't react to it very well, and he lets him run right past him, uh, which is, you know, cover four quarters. This is the only zone coverage where it does that. But pretty much every man coverage that doesn't have a safety over the top and this zone coverage which essentially is a man coverage or at least it reacts similar to a man coverage which is why it does that as you can see it just runs right past the defender so that's it for that play like i said let's attack some zone coverages the next play is going to be the close bills cross we'll start off with cover two now here's another play that needs no adjustments at all especially when it comes to cover two zone you're going to see how this rb route just as long as i have adequate pass pro is going to split those safeties the safety on the left side really follows the crosser so it really gives you an easy one play touchdown against cover two zone let's go ahead and let's go to the replay if you watch this play it's really all about what beasley's doing the route that he's running is just a perfect route when it comes to pulling these zones first thing he does is he slows down uh the mid read he has to react to him then he basically pulls down the safety as well as you can see he pulls that apart and at that point you can see there's nothing out here stopping me i could have bullet and pass led the space as you can see the safety's way out of position now i don't really make any adjustments if you take away the running back say you want to pass block the running back just to get a little extra protection i find that that affects the play you can see how i can still get gone but it's a much tighter window so think about that no if you have a speed advantage it's going to matter also so while it doesn't look like it the the running backs actually what pulls the cornerback down and that's what the why the safety covers the crosser um so you can take it away but if you do that, you probably need a bigger speed advantage than I have when it comes to this receiver because the safety is not going to drop the same. And you can see it's a much tighter window. So just keep that in mind. Now, like I said, this particular play can home run just about any zone coverage. So let's go and let's pick cover three this time. Against cover three, you're going to have to put the A route on a streak, put the B route on a slant. That's pretty much the basic, uh, you know, the bare minimum when it comes to this particular play. Got to buy some time in the pocket. You can see how the RB route's just streaking wide open down the field um, against cover three as he's going to get across for an easy one play touchdown. This is another play, though, where you don't have to make any adjustments. If you run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field, you don't have to do anything. The setup that I was showing really works from anywhere on the field, but if you have the hash marks, you can basically just do this. You got to buy a little bit of time. But you can see, even with Tyron Matthew it up he still gets inside of it it ought to be easier if i can buy some time though that's probably the hardest part about this play is you don't necessarily get the most pass pro i find like double teaming um i'm gonna double team his defensive end so i can try to roll in that direction but ultimately this is going to be uh, a really easy play just as long as i can actually get a play to throw the ball as you can see there once again we're getting chased but we're getting passed now the pay wide receiver in is another play that can be multiple defenses let's go and let's pick that on the defensive side we're just going to go pick uh, we're going to start off with tampa two this is a play that you're probably going to want to run from a hash mark to the open side of the field be aware of that so i'm just going to put the a route on a streak i'm going to put the b route on a drag that's all you really have to do the rb routes the play is in a little bit of a wheel route there just wait till he gets past that cornerback and bullet and pass lead outside you don't really have to wait till it gets passed uh but you can typically get a pretty good catch and run if you do I mean, it's, it's really a timing pattern because ultimately the RB route here, the cornerback never really is in play. He's in a back pedal, and it's probably because of the drag. I'm not 100% sure why. He never really flips his hips, but you can see how he's just out of position. So let's go and let's do that one more time. Like I said, I don't have to wait for him to pass because I know he's going to be passed the second I bullet and pass it away. At that point, if I have a fast enough receiver, I can get up the sideline and be gone with a play like this. This is probably your best man cover two play as well. Let's go and let's pick that. So same setup. You're going to see the RB route here doesn't get jammed at all as he just runs right around it and is instantly open, uh, which, like I said, this is going to be a crazy cover two man concept. As you can watch the replay here, I mean, he just, it's just because of the way this route's set up. He gets chipped off and he's wide open five yards down the field, if not more. I mean, I could have, you know, lobbed it to space there as this is just like an instant open route against this type of defense. So I'll do that again. Like I said, this is like a rub route concept. And we can really just make some big plays. I'm really trying to score here. Like I said, I mean, we got Tyron Matthew out there lurking. But this is a play that's capable of a one-play touchdown. I'm not saying I'm going to get it. Once again, definitely might need a faster guy than Cole Beasley. But if you can steal yards like this, you know, what's what's the bother? Like, it's just a huge play. And it can really have that effect against a lot of different man coverages as well. Against cover one holds a completely different defense. Or a completely different route, rather. The B route. I'm going to put the RB route here on a streak. And now I'm just going to wait. I mean, I have a lot of good checkdowns. But I'm just waiting for this B route to cross. As you can see, once again, might not have a fast enough receiver. But, you know, same thing, just a different receiver this time. Now, the last play I'm going to show in this video is going to be the choice zig. Let's go and let's pick that. On the defensive side, we're going to start off with cover three. It's more of a cover three and a cover four play. 
All I really have to do is put the A route or the RB route on a streak. I think the A route's probably best. I don't really have to do anything else. The, the B route here will take a little bit of time uh, to come across the formation, uh, but that's about it. Once he does, bullet pass lead away from the safety, and you can see we can have a very big play. Like, I don't have a great receiver out there. Glenn Davis, is it Glenn Davis? He had four, I mean, he had four touchdowns in a playoff game, but uh, he's definitely not... Uh, it's Gabriel Davis, my bad. He's definitely not the guy. Now, the full setup on a play like this would be putting the, uh, the the X route on a 10 yard out route, blocking the running back. Uh, you can actually motion this receiver, which brings the B route in a little bit. That would probably be best considering that, um, you know, that'll just get him across the formation just a little bit faster. And now you can see I just get a little bit more separation. So that's pretty much going to be the full setup uh, against cover three. Go ahead and I'll do that one more time. Like I said, I can time this a little bit better. I said, making that little bit of a motion brings him in, which just gets him across the formation that much faster, which is definitely helpful. So let's go and do this one more time. Like I said, I always roll out. And you can see we're getting across that very easily, although, you know, I could definitely time it better, but you can see how it works. And then last but not least, cover four won't play touchdown, which we haven't really gone over yet. So let's go and pick the choice zig one more time. Going to have to leave the formation. We're going to have to go over to the dollar and let's pick the cover four drop. So now we're going to have to either smoke or drag the X route. That's pretty much the only thing. Um, and then as far as Beasley is concerned, we're just dragging him. And now the B route will be a one-play touchdown against cover four. Got a lot more time to throw this ball. As you can see, he just gets that right over the middle. Once again, not a huge speed advantage, but you can see the plays there to be made. You can see also how he splits the safeties. So you can see how he basically just, you know, it's just, it just splits the field in half. Once he gets inside here, bullet and pass lead away from uh, Tyre Matthew. You can see the other safety is already too far gone. He doesn't really have a, a chance to make the play. Um, I could have just got a little bit, if I'm a little bit faster receivers, I've got a little bit more, um, you know, of a pass lead inside of it, great. But it's a very easy one play touchdown. So like I said, hit that, uh, you know, put the X route on a smoke, put the A route on a drag. Give him that little motion to the line. Now Davis will come across a little bit faster and then block the running back. That's all you really got to do. I mean, you don't really have to block the running back, to be honest with you, because there's not much of a pass rush here. But you can see here once again, boom, right over the top of the safety. Even with a 90-speed receiver, we're hitting a one-play touchdown against cover four. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more plays out of the Bills playbook, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. If you're new around here, make sure to the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, all that great stuff, so you can stay up to date on the latest Madden trends. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.